<coughs> morning. Morning. Hi, Jeremy. Um, it's great news about the Antonio contract. Uh, yeah. A lot of people were thinking he might go to Chelsea, but how significant is it that he's committing his future to West Ham? It's great. It's, uh, it's great for, for both parties, I think, for Mike as well. Uh, the, club, the club has done good for him, really, since, since he came here. Uh, he improved a lot. He became one of the, our best players. He, he came into the national team of England. Uh, and uh, he's the hammer of the year, uh, and it's great for him. And it's also brilliant for us to keep such a good player for uh, for another four years. And uh, as I said, it shows again how how this club is uh, is big and ambitious. And uh, it's great to have him in uh, our club. You played him all over the pitch this season. Does he need to play in one position for his own sort of benefit, do you think? No, well, well, he played on, on basically this season. He, he only played one game, I think. First game against Chelsea as a fullback that he played last year and he was great for us. Uh, he prefers to play up front or on a wing, uh, although I think that he can be a great and he done last season. He was, he was brilliant for us in that position uh, as a fullback because we see nowadays in football so many modern fullbacks like that. Uh, but he's very versatile. Uh, and uh, okay, the, the majority of this game when we play with four at the back, he played uh, on a wing or up front. And uh, that is also okay for. In one hand, it's great for the player to have one position that he can play, but then uh, uh, he benefits a lot from that, uh, and that's, that is one of the reasons why he improved a lot, also tactically, because physically was never a question about it. It's, he's unbelievable, but when you are playing on different roles, then, uh, then you have to think about your game more than when you are playing just on a wing, let's say. And that is also, as I said, one of the reasons why he improved a lot. And on the other hand, it's very good to be a versatile player. Of your captain, Mark Noble's season is over. He's facing hernia surgery. Has this problem been uh, affecting his form, would you say, um, through the latter part of the season? Yeah, the, this, uh, uh, the hernia thing uh, he has in the last couple of months but he didn't want to talk about it because he's a captain, he's a great captain and he wanted to help the club and the team, of course and uh, yeah, it affected him of course, because uh, he felt that pain but he played through that pain or with that pain and uh, now the, um, it became a bit worse so the surgeon uh, it, it's not because we are safe now and we don't want him or he doesn't want to play no, 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 no I really wanted him to play at least one more game against Liverpool, and he wanted it, but the surgeon said that uh, it should be done as soon as possible, so it was really no, no way that he would play another game for us. Do you think he should have kept it quiet? Well, there are exceptions, uh, situations, you know, and this was kind of the situation that it was good not to get me in a doubt, you know, can he play or he can't play, because if we remember, and it was very recent how he played against Spurs. It was like uh, he was one of the, our key players, and especially to have a skipper playing in that game, it meant a lot to the team. So it was a good decision from him. And Sheikh Kouati is facing a wrist surgery as well. Why can't he play the last two games with a, with a wrist problem? Uh, again, because uh, that wrist problem is since the Africa Cup, and again it became worse. He played through a lot of pain with the injections and everything, and he was supposed to do that operation earlier, but because we needed him and all that, uh, we made a deal, on, not, not a deal, but a plan, 
for him to play as long as much as possible but it again it became worse it became worse so he was not able to play Slava, what's the team use for this uh, final home game is Andy Carroll going to play in this one no Andy ain't going to play he still feel his uh, he, i mean is it hip or groins it's hard to say but uh, it's in that area and since last three or four weeks it was all like 50-50 but unfortunately, no, he can't. He's, he tried to do yesterday and day before yesterday, but it doesn't. It's not good, basically. Again, it's nothing major, but but it is. Uh, it's very frustrating not to have Andy um, now in these couple of games, or or even before, because we know what he means to us. Uh, so the team news is. Um, is uh, the team that played against Spurs. Now we are also without Mark Noble and without Kuyate. So, But the good thing is that we had many injuries in this season and the players who will start the game against Tottenham, they all played a lot of games in this season because of their form or because of the injuries of the other players. So uh, we still have a really good team. Uh, we're going to put really good team up. Slaven, uh, Andy's season has been wrecked again by injury. Is he going to play again for West Ham? I mean, how long will the club tolerate so much absence, do you think? Well, it's not a subject for now, but uh, Andy is kind of a player that uh, he has such a big impact in, on our game that uh, I will never give up on Andy. You know. And uh, especially now that I don't know what it was like before, what were the reasons for his injuries and absence, but uh, this has nothing to do with, with lifestyle or not being committed enough to your career course or whatever. He, he's working really hard. He wants it. It's just uh, bad luck. And uh, as I said, I will never give up on him. On the other hand, it's definitely no good to have a player that you that you count in the preseason and you put his name first or second or third. I don't know what, and then and then you can't count on him. And what would you say about Sako's future, given his problems this season? Now look, they all have a contract with us. You know, with Sako is the same uh, or or similar, with the difference that and he played a lot of games this season, comparing with the after, yeah. With Diaz, uh, the whole season he was injured. He had a couple of injuries, long-term ones, and uh, as I said, it's, uh, it's the worst for a manager and for the team that, that, that you have so many players who are out for a long, long time. It was a fantastic win against Tottenham. Can you repeat that kind of performance against Liverpool? Hopefully, yeah. We are, we are uh, well... We are preparing and we are planning to do something similar against Liverpool. Uh, there are a lot of similarities in those two sides. And uh, so we still have two games and we are very ambitious. Those two games, there, there, there are six points and uh, we can climb up on the table. It's not a situation that we are safe now and, and that we are already on holidays. But uh, definitely I'm expecting the same kind of determination, the same kind of commitment and teamwork like it was against Spurs with one difference, and the difference is a positive one, that you feel the pressure, you want to do it because you want to win every game, uh, but you are without that negative kind of a pressure that thing like that we were against Spurs, like, oh, oh my God, if we concede a goal or if we don't win this game, we're going to be in that position. Now that, that, that burden is, is off. So I'm expecting like uh, at least uh, what we have done against Spurs in terms of playing and commitment. And it's your final home game of the season at the London Stadium. <coughs> in the league, um, 19 goals um, in 18 games. I mean, what are your reflections now, looking back on the season? There's been some challenges playing in the new home, but what do you think now? 
Uh, well, it's still not a time to talk about because we have a big game against Liverpool on Sunday, and it's, it, it's still not the time to talk about the season. Uh, but uh, if we are talking about uh, our home performances, uh, we definitely we we improved a lot uh, in the last five, six, or seven or eight games. I mean, since the start of this year. 2017, I, I remember our home games uh, improved a lot. There were only a couple of games, I think, against against Man City in a cup and in a league that they were really like much better than us and that we didn't look good uh, towards the end of the game. But in all other games, some, some games we lost, like against Leicester, but we played really good. Some games we drew, like against West Brom 2-2, but that, that game was one, one of our best performances. So I'm not talking about the results only, but also about performances, and we improved a lot. And it's becoming more and more our home, and we expected that. Just finally, Slavin, if you do beat Liverpool like Tottenham, what do you think the implications might be for your own future here? What do you mean? Like... If you've the two back to back huge wins like this, do you think this will be a, a real sign that you know your future is here with the owner? Well, I, I, I said I have my contract and I'm doing my best and uh, mm, so many times I have been asked this kind of question and I always answer the same way that I'm not I'm not uh, concerned about it. I feel the backing of the board, of the players, definitely, of the fans, big time. Like so, I'm very happy here, and uh, I really don't feel that I'm that I'm not welcome here. Thanks. Cheers. Slavin, Mikel's contract is obviously your thought process for next season. Is there any other players who are close to signing? New contracts, is, is that something you want to get tied up? Hey, okay, we, uh, I'm going to talk with the chairman like after the season, after the game against Burnley. And it's great, as I said, that Mikey signed a new contract. And we have some other players that I already spoke to the chairman. And uh, he said that we're going to do it uh, or talk about it at the end of the season. But there are a few of them, and we already spoke. Me and Mr. Sullivan, and uh, I think we're going to do it, yeah. I just want to ask you about your, your goalkeepers, obviously, have made the change. How well have, have the two responded to that change? Well, the, both of them responded really well. Oh, okay, nobody is happy when he doesn't play or when you drop him. And uh, it happened to through both, through both of them. Mm, first to Adrian, and now to Randy. And then I know when we put Randy, he, he was really good. And uh, I decided, or we decided to drop him. And then I, I explained it to him, and he took it as a great professional, which he is. And as I said, we have really, we have two really good goalkeepers. And uh, nobody likes to change a goalkeeper. It is the last thing you want to do, but sometimes it's necessary. And to be fair, both times that we've done it, uh, it's no decision have proven it themselves really good. And just on the, the game, how big a threat will Liverpool be? Do you, do you think perhaps they've underachieved a little bit this season, the Jurgen Club? No, they are still in a fight or in a race for a Champions League place. They, they need the points because Arsenal is there. Man City and them, I mean, one, one ain't going to make it. And it's a big game for them. Mm, even bigger than it was for Spurs against us because with Spurs four points is still a big gap would still have been a big gap with Liverpool it's everything in their hands you know and uh, they are they are a great side of course they are very electric recently away they've been winning games we are talking like a game against Stoke, game against Watford, but both of those games couldn't, couldn't, could have ended differently.
and all that, uh, but they are, they are great side, of course, and we are expecting a tough and big game, but that's what you need at this part of the season, you know, big games. Hello. Uh, so it was five defeats in a row, now five without defeat. Can you pinpoint something after that Arsenal loss that sort of clicked or changed in the players? No, you know, those five, I mean, we had two, if we're talking about the season, we have two, let's say, crises or two periods where, where we didn't collect enough points. That's the beginning of the season, September, and that's and, and then those five games that we are talking about now, five defeats, but they are different. They were different. In September, we were not fit enough. We were without many players, or even worse, we, we were with the players. Uh, because of the injuries, we had to force the players to come back earlier, and we didn't play good at that period. For me, these five defeats are different. They were also, we didn't play great, but we didn't deserve to lose all five of them. I remember the game against Leicester, the game against Bournemouth, the game against Hull. We were, we, we definitely, it could have or should have ended a bit differently. But the chance is we, we, we lost five games. We changed the system a bit. We, and that made us more solid. Uh, we kept four clean sheets. And up front, we are always capable of scoring one or two goals. And uh, so the, the team defended really well as a unit. And uh, that, is, that, that, that is the main reason why we, why we got out of the trouble here. And just one player that really shone against Spurs, Manuel Lanzini, again, with a fantastic performance. Can you see even more from him in the years to come, and how vital is he going to be for West Ham next season? Well, definitely, he's he's still a very young player, you know, and he's uh, he improved a lot. He he's been recognised now as uh, our key player. If we are talking about linking up the defence and the offence and the striker, and he's he's fit, which is the most important thing to him. He's training and working hard really well every day, and you can see that on a pitch. And uh, if he stays out of the injuries, then of course I'm expecting from him to improve a lot. I mean, the, there's still a, a lot in front of him, and he's nowhere near his peak. So it's a great thing for him and a great thing for us. Okay, cameras off, please.